All right, y'all, welcome back to Philly D's Garage. Um, so today I wanted to talk some more about some tools that I never use. Um, so I got some torque wrenches here that I've had for years. Um, and honestly, I can only remember using this one, and that was like years back. And ever since then, these torque wrenches have been literally just collecting dust. As you can see on this one, you can't even see it. It's crazy because this one is actually brand new. Like this one, I haven't even opened this one up. So this is a, um, this one is a three eighths uh, torque wrench, Craftsman torque wrench, clip, clip type. Uh, this one, I thought this was a snap on too, but this one is a, uh, Wait, I think it was a Williams. I think it's a Williams, which is a snap-on. So I remember buying this one off of Amazon, I believe, years back. Um, see, did you say USA on it? Uh, here it is. Pre Precision Instruments, which is, I believe... I don't know. I, I From what I can remember, I could have sworn this was like a division of Snap-on right here when I bought it. This thing was like $250, $300 off Amazon. So, um, this one is an Eastwood. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard of Eastwood before, but there you go. Eastwood is actually a... Um, man, I forget where they're from. I think... It is a U.S. company, though, so. Uh, and this is electronic, so this is the only electronic one I got. Um, I bought this one years back. This thing been sitting for so long that you can actually see the buttons. Then, like, they, like, peeled off. I don't know if something ate it off or if just the humidity and temp or something ate away at it. I don't know. As a matter of fact, let's see if it comes on. Let me see, like. This thing been sitting for so long. I don't even remember which button was which. See, I see the microphone here. That's where the sound comes out at. Yeah, this thing probably gonna turn on. But it's an Eastwood automotive guys. They know what Eastwood is. Uh, um, you guys know what Eastwood is. I've probably seen a commercial. <laughs> uh, Let's check out this snap-on. And this snap-on drawn was my dad's, so this is kind of special. What the hell? Hold on, guys. What the hell are you doing? Hiya. I'm trying to make a video. Get out of here. Get that thing. I to speak Spanish to the motherfuckers. <laughs> um, all right, so we got the uh, snap-on here. This this was actually my dad's. Uh, torque wrench snap on so you know he paid a nice little penny for this and this is like i said this is the only one that i can remember that i've ever used to get what i was doing but i know i used it so look at this john man look at that like when he gave me this thing i was like oh man because at the time i didn't have did i have i think i had i might have had this one at the time when he gave me this but I didn't have that one. Um, I think I had a, a a Pittsburgh torque wrench too. I just don't know where the hell it's at. So I actually got one, two, three, four torque wrenches I don't use. But when he gave me this, man, I felt special. I'm like, man, I got a snap-on torque wrench. Like it ain't nothing like a snap-on torque wrench, y'all. Uh, and it is half inch. This is half inch. Kenosha. Can y'all see that? Kenosha. I don't know, Wisconsin. I don't know. So yeah, um, so yeah, y'all. I don't use these torque wrenches. I kind of find it kind of weird. Um, I mean, mechanics do use torque wrenches in certain places. It's required for you to use it. Um, nowadays I only use a torque wrench just to torque the wheels. And honestly, that's what I had bought originally bought my uh, torque wrenches for, just to torque my wheels. That was before. I was even a mechanic, you know, I just from watching YouTube channels and stuff on a uh, cable and how they used to always tell us to torque your wheels, blah, blah, blah. That's what made me 
uh, buy these torque this torque wrench and actually that's what got me into cars in general just watching those little Saturday Sunday uh, shows on a cable two cars garage shit like that um, they they just lured me into this this type of world honestly and uh, that's what got me into these torque wrenches but I don't use them it's kind of I just kind of I don't know I kind of find it kind of weird like mechanics always we always buy tools y'all we always buy tools and i'm not gonna say all mechanics but the majority of the mechanics out there there's it, the majority of their tools are probably not even used because i mean you only use what you need throughout the day on your average you know what you do daily you know what i mean so a lot of these tools just end up getting set in the back of your toolbox or back of your trunk whatever the case may be so um yeah this is one of those tools that i just don't use uh i don't know I, I have it in case one day i need it but i will probably never use them <laughs> and actually i mean shit like i mean i'm not selling the snap on but if you guys want to buy one of these three turk wrenches you more than likely let me know because i don't have no use for them they just sitting there um but yeah man twerking stuff like is i'm definitely like i'm down for twerking stuff you know what i mean i'm not telling people not to twerk nothing or whatever always twerk it i mean if you if you if you can twerk it twerk it if you got the tool use it you know um it's definitely a safety thing uh it's just i don't twerk nothing um i go by the fill and a lot of mechanics uh go by the fill also i mean it's just something you end up doing usually in your career but um yeah man i thought that was kind of interesting to talk about these torque wrenches i look at them every fucking day <laughs> and i never use them um so it's kind of crazy but um yeah man if, if there's any other tools you guys want to talk about or if y'all got some tools y'all want to talk about chime in below let me know and um yeah some tools maybe that y'all don't use or never use or bought and never used. I got some of those two tools I done bought and never used. So um just let me know in the comments. Hit the like button, share. I'll catch you on the next one. Alright y'all so I found my uh Pittsburgh torque wrench. So this is the other torque wrench that I was talking about. Um I never use it. That's probably why I didn't know where it was at. <laughs> so um, it was pretty cheap. I think I paid like $20 for this thing like years back. Actually, I think I bought it in California, actually. Um, it's half inch. So, yeah. I mean, it works. And I got another Turk wrench at work, but I only use that at work. So, I think that's for... So, that's six Turk wrenches in total that I have. Um, and I, 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 I don't use none of them. Um, just the one at work. So... But yeah, just another uh, one of my tools that I don't really use, uh, torque wrenches. So um, there you go. A little bit of bonus footage, man. Uh, catch you on the next one.